please welcome the show where you get to moan about what's on television and nobody tells you to stop being a fucking crybaby and change the channel. <laughs> yes, this is judgment day for your complaints. You send them in and we decide whether they go to complaints heaven or hell, which collectively makes us Jesus. If Jesus was Zimbabwean, female and gay. <laughs> Hello. OK, so let's take a look at what is at the top of our complaint inbox. Oh, we've got a complaint here about the new Netflix series Catching Killers. Now, this tweet says, as much as I enjoy shows about true crime documentaries, is it worth it to put out a form of entertainment that risks helping criminals do better? <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly celebrating criminals, is it? It's called Catching Killers. Not look at these absolute legends here, how they did it. <laughs> Well, here's what Jonathan Ross had to say about Grand Designs. I love hashtag Grand Designs, but sometimes George can be a bit of a dick. <laughs> and then he follows that up with, oh, yes, Kevin. <laughs> Jonathan, I can't believe he openly took a swipe at the wonderful Kevin MacLeod. Imagine criticising another TV show publicly. Oh, so crass. We would never do that. Here's your Channel 4 warning. Extremely strong language coming up, you beautiful bellends. <laughs> Now, some of you have been getting seriously dicked off about the amount of motherfucking swearing on television. <laughs> Apparently you don't like it when people say, bollocks, pissed, ass, dick or wanker. <laughs> we don't have the data on ball bag, but I thought it'd just be fun to say it anyway. So here's a complaint about, well, everybody. The rise of bad language without context on TV is so gosh darn, hashtag shocking. What's society coming to? Hashtag ITV, hashtag BBC, hashtag Channel 4, hashtag Channel 5, hashtag Sky. <laughs> Seems like hashtag Dave Channel got away with it there, didn't they? <laughs> Well, look, I'm from a long line of swearers. I was 15 before I realised my full name wasn't for fuck's sake, Jess. <laughs> so, personally, I love a good swear in the right place, but also in the wrong place. Right, let's go back to the phones. Our next caller is Dan from Edinburgh. Good morning, Dan. What's your question? All right, there, well, you came out like this time of year. Every cunt's banging on a bit fast. <laughs> so, what's a bad side for Christmas, eh? <laughs> Yeah, it's really, it's really not often you get to hear the C word and parsnips in the same sentence. <laughs> when it comes to swearing, there is a whole set of censorship regulations to protect us. And in a recent survey, Ofcom found 186 offensive words. If you like, we could uh, just guess the strength of these words, whether yeah. they were put into the category of mild, medium or strong. Beef curtains. <laughs> <laughs> That's a toughie, that, isn't it? Yeah, is that a swear word or is it something they serve at the harvester? <laughs> I don't know. Is that like medium? <laughs> Tom, what do you think? I think medium. Beef curtains? Strong. Oh! I know. What about bollocks? What do we think about bollocks? Low, low. Yeah, I think that's quite like me medium, I'd say again. Mild? M yeah, mild. I feel, like, I feel like I'm in Nando's. I what do. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the piri piri bollocks, please. <laughs> bollocks are medium. Bollocks are medium, I told you. Flaps. I would say mild, mild to severe. Strong. Well, that's strong. all. That's the entire. Because there's a lot of. Yeah, I would say that's what I would say. Um, no, flaps is strong. Strong. Yeah. Oh. Two fingers. Uh, strong. Two fingers. I think that's quite mild. Yeah, that is medium. Oh, it's but medium. sorry to do this, but stick a tongue in it. Strong. Oh. Strong. <laughs> that's strong. That is strong, isn't it? Cum bubble. <laughs> Come bubble. Come bubble? It's a trick question, it's not on the list. <laughs> right, OK. Viewers and listeners told Ofcom that they are actually generally more relaxed about swearing, particularly if it is accidental and an apology swiftly follows. Does that mean we want more swearing on television, like, say, this? <laughs> well, this harvest has been an absolute crop of shit. <laughs> But the question is, is swearing really necessary? I wanted to get to the bottom, or indeed arse, of this complaint. <laughs> Look at what I found out. His hair plugs didn't come from the back of his head or from... Are they from his arse? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I I'm with Susie Dent, and she is an expert linguist, so she's the perfect person to talk to us about whether or not swearing is necessary on television. What do you think of that complaint, Suze? It's such a hot topic at the moment, swearing. You will know, Jess, you know, in, in any comedy show, you only have to say, so I was just say, oh, fuck off, Jimmy. The audience <laughs> collapsed because there's something still naughty about them. Exactly. So, so it adds dramatic impact. It obviously adds comic effect. You have to be careful not to be lazy about it, I would say, because that's when it does lose its power. If, if that's all you're saying, essentially, 
then you could argue that they're not using the richness of the English language, which, you know, let's face it, is abundant. Do you have a favourite swear word? Bollocks. Why do you love bollocks so much, Susie Dent? One of the reasons I really love bollocks, so to speak, is that in 2000, the BBC came up with a list of their most offensive swear words, and they placed bollocks in eighth position, below prick and above arsehole. So, anatomically, supremely accurate. Swear words, linguistically, are, yes. as you've described, intensifiers. Tell us a bit yeah, about that. Yeah, well, you know, if you were to ask a linguist what is the most versatile word in the English language, they would say fuck, I think. It would be on their top five, I'm sure. It can be used, as you say, as an intensifier, as in what the fuck? Or it's all gone fucking crazy around here. It can be used as a verb, it can be used as a noun. It's incredibly expressive. Well, look, this interview's been the bloody tits, but it's time for me to say off your piss because I've got to finish my investor fucking gation. Um, well, you've been the dog's bollocks, so thanks, Jess. Fuckity bye. Mm, fuckity bye to you too. <laughs> I'm a fucking legend. So Susie Dent thinks swearing does have a place on TV. So before I left, I had to test it out. Is the F word as versatile as she says it is? Go fuck yourself. For fuck's sake. Fuck a duck. Fuck up and die. Fuck. Fuck it. Jess, sorry, fuck you, this. Stop, you can't stop this. The crew got to go home. Oh, no, we haven't, we haven't done, um, something left my fucking arse off. Fuck off, or fuck you, or go fuck yourself, or motherfucker. I still haven't done MILF. <laughs> OK, cut uh... What does anyone in the audience think? Does anyone, does anyone like swearing, not like swearing? Audrey? On TV, before the watershed, I don't think it's right, cos I have a child and I'd like to protect them from that. Although I love swearing, I swear every day. My favourite words are mostly Jamaican swear words. What are good Jamaican swear words? Blood clot. Oh, yeah. Bomba clot, ras clot, pussy clot. I just think it's just a brilliant word. All right, uh, what do you... It uh, doesn't matter what any of you fucking think. The audience, <laughs> do you think swearing on TV is necessary? If you do, shout, fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Complain rejected! <laughs> Snowflake Andre. Snowflake Andre. Snowflake Andre.